Hi everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good week. Arlo's having a little bite to eat. He's also in a little tear. This is my third attempt of filming this intro because he's been chewing on the comforter on the spare bed beside me. I think it's because it's quilted that he thinks he can get his teeth and his claws in there easier than other blankets. So, yeah, we're having some cat behavioral problems. Okay, so this is a little bit later than I was um, hoping on filming, but it's been a busy day. Uh, I did do my race, my 5K race at the Four City Road Races. There's my meadow. Metal, 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 metal. <sighs> and um, yeah, I'm happy with my time. It wasn't the fastest ever, but I did run the majority of the race. Um, that's, I've been struggling with my endurance lately and just walking. Um, yeah, I haven't really been able to really get out of my head and just keep running. Uh, but today I did and uh, yeah, I only walked through the water stops and um, the one hill, Talbot Street Hill. So um, yeah, it was a good route. I don't think I've ever done the 5K with Forest City. I've done the half a couple times and the 10K, but yeah, I don't think I've done that 5K. Um, so yeah, so I did that, and then after we got home, I laid down for a little bit, and then, um, took my son on a play date at Fun Villa, which is like an indoor playground, uh, with a friend of his, so they had a good time doing that, and then here we are, uh, when we got home, a little dark cloud, was over the house and then the wind picked up the little planter like a hanging planter off my fence um rained a little bit but now it seems to be done so i think we can still barbecue tonight so that's good but yeah it was a little wind and rainstorm and there was nothing on the weather at all i was just letting himself out now Okay, so maybe we'll be able to get through this after all. He was just a little hangry, I guess. Okay. Um, I have... I'm looking at what... I did last week. Did I show you current mood? Maybe I didn't. It's the one with the three pumpkins and a cat by Arlene. But I took it out of my bin, so sorry if you didn't see it. You're not gonna see it this week either. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we have two cross stitch finishes, a knitting finish, which is very exciting, and a little bit of haul. So let's just do the haul real quick. So I got my birthday box, Caroline, uh, still nicely sealed, and that's how it's going to stay until her birthday, which I believe is July 7th. Now I got all confused, and while I'm sitting here, maybe I will fix. Um, I had put her birthday, so July, I'll be doing Jolly July, and then I have like seven new starts to do, or slated for, um, so that's also why I want to get some finishes done, so I have those spots to do some new starts, um, but then in one of the spots, I put her sal, but then I realized it's not actually a Christmas piece. 
So that should be above and beyond. So plus, maybe I'll just do a plus. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Minor detail. Okay, so yeah, pick that up. And then I also picked up. Down there. So you get two cardboard directions. I think this one is just to show like the finished product, right? Um, but I got a quiet of the nest. So this was the last piece that I wanted from the collaboration with 1897 Schoolhouse Samplery. So I just got the bird ones. So this was the first one. This is the one I got just now. And then, oh, this one here I had purchased as well, which was given out at whatever weekend I didn't go to last year. So I will add that to my project bag. I also need to just double check on, make sure Heather correct flaws. I got the booster pack for the fifth chair and it's ochre. can never have too much ochre so I'll add that. Just because I didn't get all the other ones there might be some other floss I'm missing but again I'm not too worried about that because I do have the floss for the other two charts that I do have. And then did take advantage of the floss sale that was going on. So I got some bespeckled. So these are ones that are going out of print. This was five for ten dollars I believe. So I got bespeckled, bespeckled. One funny valentine. I have one of these in my stash already. One more Tisha, one of my stash as well. I know they might not exactly match, but uh, two hippie. Oh, I really like this color, so I grabbed two of those. And then this one is old book. So a lot of different colors in that one. And then I got several of unicorn i won't tell you why about so many of these be a little secret for right now but yeah so that's what i got from their floss sale It's not a problem for crinkling, but you might as well just deal with this stuff now. Okay, and then okay, should we show me finishes? So my first one is this one from Modern Folk Embroidery. That was for the Ukraine a couple years ago. Jacob made that. Sad that it was a couple years ago. 
and then finish peep. Be stitching with the housewives. And then my big finish that I'm very proud of. My sock is done. I got my first sock done. Look, it looks like a sock. That's what the toe looks like, right? That looks like professional. My heel. I had some wonky stitches up here, but now they've kind of worked themselves out, I feel like. Yeah. And I've cast on my next one. And I think Gonna be pretty close to the same striping. Because I had to figure out for my long tail cast on. My problem is, where do I start casting on, right? To get the same amount of this stripe. Does that make sense? Like, where do I start? Oh, here we go. Where do I start in that stripe, right? So, I got a little bit more of this color than I do here. But, overall, I think it's going to hit pretty close, right? So yeah, look at that. Finished that yesterday. I even texted Caroline. And it fits. And ta-da! So hopefully the second one won't take as long as this one. Um, definitely there's a lot, right? The most fit, fiddly obviously is the heel and the toe, but really it's really just the heel. That's the most fiddly. Um, because once you're decreasing, you're just decreasing. Um, and then the kitchen stitch, as long as you're paying attention. Um, I had one stitch that was kind of pokey outy a little bit uh, when I was finishing it off, but then I just kind of came back out and tacked it down a little bit and then um, tied it off or sewn in the end. So, yeah. All right. So then what else was I stitching on? Well, as I said, I can't remember if I showed current mood last week. So I'm sorry. Uh, I did work on Under the Sea. Worked on that pupper, pup, pupper, puffer fish. Finished these fish. I think I mainly just focused on some fish. That's why. Sasha Pumpkin. Um, you, sh you saw the Jacob piece that I finished. You saw Peep that I finished. I didn't stitch on it. Bovinia was still in there, but I think she just got stuck in there. I did pull out Hello Summer by that so Emma, I believe. It's from the fat quote shop. Worked on that popsicle there. And then all I have is Excuse me, the ice cream cone here. This is a good solid ice cream cone. So.
<clears throat> Stick her up there because I'll be looking for her in camp here. And then I worked on your celebrations a little bit more. It is on Wipco for this month. What else on Wipco? Oh, home for Christmas. So. So I just added some more of these buttons inside the hearts, inside the heart. I did want to talk to everyone about an event that's happening um, with um, hosted by the Stitching Owl and the Two Bay Stitchers. Um, so Karen from the Stitching Owl has a video up already. She posted it yesterday um, and it does talk about um, Canada, this, this event called Canada Swap. And the swaps. And I meant to. She, Karen so nicely had given me a shirt um, that says Canada Swap. And I meant to wear it for this video and then I forgot. So I am sorry, Karen. I will wear it for another video, maybe closer to some of our dates that are, are coming up here for this event. Um, but yeah, go check out Karen for all the details. I'll give you some now. Um, and I believe the two-way stitchers, um, once they have an opportunity to post a video, um, they will be talking about it as well. Um, but the idea is that it is like a swap, like a smalls exchange type idea um, between Canadians. Um, I do believe... They have a number of floss tubers on board, but of course, uh, we want our Canadian viewers to also um, be involved. So if you are interested in making a small, I believe it's no more than six by six inches is what we're, what they're looking for. And you can add an extra, but no more than 10 Canadian dollars, I believe. What the stipulations are. Um, I did ask if they are to be personalized or more like a smalls exchange. Um, she did say more like a smalls exchange. So when you're thinking about your piece, oh, and a very important part is that um, for this swap, we are going to be stitching Canadian designers. So choose a piece, a small piece from a Canadian designer that you'd like to stitch and swap. She, Karen would like to know if you are interested in participating by beginning of July. I want to say like July 10th. Again, watch your video. Um, and then by the end of July, she will send everyone that's participating who they're going to be mailing their small to. But um, the small doesn't need to be finished and mailed out until Labor Day. So that still should give us a good amount of time to um, get a small done. So I think those are all the important points for that. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited to participate in that. But definitely go check out Karen's latest video, talks all about that. And I don't know what I'm going to choose yet. I'm also waiting on the next um, <clears throat> Stitches and Pages book to be revealed and what we're going to be reading. Because perhaps I can tie the two together. 
I want to do a new start for that. Um, kind of along the same theming of whatever the book is going to be. And perhaps that could also could be a Canadian designer. And possibly my small that I'm going to send it. I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's everything for me. I hope everyone has a good week and we'll see you next week.